welcome back to another video. In today's video, I thought I would share with you my handbag backpack collection, I guess. I don't know, I thought it'd just be a fun little nosy video, so. The biggest backpack that I own is this one, which is my water aerobics backpack. It has some little fun patches that I sewed on there myself, and it's from Ikea. And that's it. It has this front pocket. I only use it for my water book stuff because it's just easier. I keep everything in here. And because I don't think it's normally not a very good idea to have a backpack that can carry this much stuff because it's, it would be bad for my back. I have this one, which is really cute. I've had it for a few years. It's from Steve Madden. And I bought this from... Uh, TJ Maxx. I'm not sure if this is real leather, but if it's not, it's really high quality uh, fake leather. It doesn't feel like fake leather. It feels really good and I've had it for a really long time. It has all these zippers and in the front and this is good for when I need to take a few things with me, but obviously I can't be carrying too many things. So it's stylish and cute. Um, and then I have this one, which, uh, it has a handle here in the middle and it has two sort of main sections. Uh, and this one doesn't have a lot of like, it has these two pockets here, but it doesn't have a lot of like storage. But I really like it as well because again, cute, really stylish. It has a pocket here in your back where you can put your phone and like be more secure. Then I have this one, which was brought to me over from Thailand, I think Thailand, by my sister. Um, and it really needs a wash, but you get the idea. It's one of these like fjell ribbon kankin bag packs uh, in pink. It has these fun straps. I like the straps that hold it at the front. It's probably the backpack that I use the most, especially when I'm traveling by train and stuff because I can hook my uh, neck pillow onto these little buddies. And yeah, it's like, it's just a good sized backpack again. It's good because it can fit a lot of stuff. Last but not least, I have this little one, which I got from like the kids section in Zara. I don't use it as much recently. I don't know why. It's a really good one for the beach. Um, it has this like strap, but it's actually magnetic underneath. And then it has this little tote bag on inside where you can fit things. I don't know. It's a backpack, you know how it works. And the straps in the back are this sort of like off white color. It's really cute. I don't know why I don't use it more often. Then let's move on to normal, like bigger size handbags. I also don't have a lot of those. First I have this black one, which is the one that I use the most. It's the one you saw in my what's in my bag video. Uh, it has this little thing here where you can fit a keychain, but don't you use that. Probably hang something cute in there. It has a strap, but like I told you in that video, when you hold it by the strap, the whole bag like hangs open like that. So it doesn't feel very secure. So I tend not to use it like that very much. And normally actually when I'm going to the library a lot, especially when I'm back where my parents live, I use this a lot as my like laptop bag because I can just fit my laptop here and all my cords, carry it like that, like a briefcase kind of deal. I don't tend to use this like on a daily basis. If I'm going for uh, like if I'm going to the mall or to like the cinema or whatever, this is not the bag that I would use. I would prefer a much smaller one or I would take a backpack. If I'm going to be using like walking a lot or doing a lot of things and I need to carry more stuff than usual, then I will do backpack. This is literally for like very specific situations. Next I have two that are very similar and these have so many years, they're so old. Uh, so these are from Long Longchamp, I don't know how you say it in English, but Longchamp, I don't know, it's a French brand. And they're this like sort of plasticky material. These are actually kind of expensive. Uh, and this one was a gift when I turned like 19 or something like that. Maybe younger than that. I've had this for a long time. And it, I like it because it has these like bigger straps. Uh, and this bag doesn't look like it, but it, you can fit a lot in here. Like a lot. You can fit like a, it's like a weekend bag. But the problem with these as well is that because they're so big on the inside, if you have very few things, they just look kind of weird. Like they'll sag at the bottom like that. And it's just like meh. The other cool thing about these is that you can fold them up really neatly, fold up to this size, 
which I guess is handy because, you know, it's easier to store something of this size. Okay, now let's get to the fun part. Uh, a lot of these are vintage, some of them are not. <laughs> Most of them are really old though. I have this one, which I think is from Primark. I've had it for a long, long time. I've had it for like six, seven years, something like that. It opens up like this and it's kind of furry. I love this handbag, I don't know why, it's just so cool. It has this uh, metal strap, which you can go put on the inside. It has a few pockets inside and it doesn't look like it, but you can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in here. The thing is with this bag is that you cannot, it may fit, but then it won't stay closed if it's too stuffed. So you do have to be careful with how much you put in here, but you can fit like a small book and like wallet, keys, phone, lipstick, like the basics, what you need. This black one, which has this like sort of, I don't know if you can see that. It has this, it's made out of this material that's kind of sparkly, but it's not actually like glitter or anything. It's just like a shiny material. And this, I think, belongs to one of my grandmothers, so I don't know where it's from. I'm pretty sure the leather inside is real because it smells like real leather. It has a gold strap that you can use or you can store inside. Um, I like to store the straps inside the bags just so that they don't get caught in where I store them. This, again, is pretty roomy. Next, we have this cute little one, which has a gold strap. It's yellow and white stripes. The opening opens up like that. This one is pretty small. I bought this one last year. I think it's from a store called Sfera. Um, I think I got this one last year because we were supposed to go to a wedding. I didn't end up going, but I bought it to match my outfit. And honestly, I kept it because obviously, like, I really, I wear a lot of yellow or I wear a lot of colors that go with yellow. So I, I don't know, I just really like it. I like the stripes. It's a pretty cool statement piece, so. I really like it. You can't fit as much stuff in this one, so that's also a factor. But sometimes when you don't need to carry a lot of things, it's cool because it's not very heavy and you can wear it side, like you can wear it uh, crossbody or just on one side, you can carry it on your hand. I just really like handbags like this. Next we have this little handbag, which is also from Primark. And this was a gift from my sister also like eight, nine years ago, like a long time ago. It has these like, faux gems at the front which are so so pretty and it's uh, it's made out of this like velvet material a few of them have like popped out and I had to like bend the little uh, metal things that hold the gem in place I had to bend those inside because they would scratch your hand when you uh, came close to my back which I mean could be a weapon but you know and also has a gold strap so nice and long so you can also use it crossbody or just over the shoulder really like this one I also tend to use this one more in the winter but this one's actually a really good size it doesn't look like it it has a bunch of pockets inside and it doesn't look like it but it's actually a really good size because you can fit all of your like essentials in here and because it's made out of like cloth um, and it's not as structured you can like sort of stretch it out a little bit to close uh, whereas with like other handbags, you might not be able to do that. Next, we have this silver one. I don't use this one a lot because I'm not like, I don't really like this color or this shape. It's like very simple. It's from a store called Parfois. I have a few things from them. Um, I really like their stuff actually, but these they have in like a bunch of colors, a bunch of patterns. They always have this style because it's a very like simple and effective bag. Uh, it does have a strap, it's adjustable, I think. The reason why I keep this one is because first, I do have a few silver shoes and I sometimes like to match my bag to my shoes. And second, because this one is another one of those that looks small, but you can actually fit quite a lot of stuff in here. So I tend to use this one on days where like I'm going to a concert or I'm going someplace where I don't want to take a backpack, but I still want some room and I know that I can close the zipper and it's very like close to my body. I know that it's safe. So it's just good for that kind of situation. I have this beauty, which is so annoying because you can't hardly fit anything in there, but it's so, so pretty. This is, I'm pretty sure real snake skin. I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I bought this for in a flea market quality of this bag. Like 
it's just ridiculous. Anyway, it has a strap that looks really like patina it and just old. I don't know, I love this stuff. And it closes like that. And it smells really good, I don't know why. Uh, and on the inside it has a little pocket. It's sort of like a velvety, like cushiony material. Um, and it's kind of worn in some spots, but I can fit a few things in here, but my wallet and my phone together here, for some reason, are too bulky. If it's just my wallet or just my phone, it fits, but when I put them in together, apparently it's like just too much for this bag to handle. And it keeps like, it just keeps popping open, which is very annoying. But I love it so much, it's so beautiful. I think I paid like 10 euros for it, which is ridiculous. Another vintage piece, which I think also belonged to one of my grandmothers. Uh, and it's just like a navy leather pouch kind of thing. It's very long. Again, this is one of those that you can fit a lot of stuff in. So I really like this one. I use this one a lot. The only thing is that it didn't have the strap anymore. It did have the little strap places, but it didn't have a strap anymore. So I think my mom just put this weird strap as or like belt thing as a strap which would be okay if it was all like this but this side on the inside because it's like kind of pointy it kind of hurts my shoulder so i can only use this when i'm using like longer sleeves which is annoying but yeah or i use it as like a clutch without the strap but like i said it it's really roomy you can fit quite a lot of stuff in here and it's just like good old sturdy navy handbag then i have this one, which is really cute, but I tend not to use very much because I find that the strap is too long. Like, I don't know, I just think it hangs weirdly. Uh, and this I got from Pull and Bear, I think. Um, it has this fun little colorful pom-pom, and it's just like a bucket bag, I think these are called. This is like my favorite bag. I probably use this like the most out of everything. This is older than me. It was my mom's, which is the only downside of this bag is this strap and that it's kind of like a short handle, but I love it so much. It's like big enough that I can fit all my things in here, but like small enough that I can't put too much weight in there. Ah, I just love this bag and it's so cool. It's so vintage. It's so different. So as you can see, this, this is like my current bag. Last but not least is this beauty. I've also shown this one in my channel previously. It's so beautiful. It has this like giant bug with pearls on it and it has a front pocket and a back pocket, which I find really handy because on, like I said, concerts, places where it gets really busy, you can put all of your really important stuff in the back and the things that are like less important, like hand mirrors and hand gel, whatever, you can put in the front. It has a strap like this, you can use it this way, or you can let it be longer. So I find that this bag has a lot of versatility. We tend to use this more in the, in the winter because if it's like kind of a suede material, it's just looks more wintry. I love this a lot. And that's the last one. I will say I don't get out a lot. I don't leave the house on a daily basis, like to go to work or anything like that. So obviously I don't need that much. So if I'm going out, I am always going to do like a specific thing. So I'm going to the library, I'm going to the post office, or I'm going to the cinema or whatever. I'm like going to do something specific. So I will use choose my bag according to my outfit and to what I need. So yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to leave it a like and a comment and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done that already. It would mean a lot to me. Yeah, so that's all the things that I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.